How you doing? Good. Good. Peace family. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Crown Same Time. Um, so today we have a video for you. It's a little bit different from our other videos because we are promoting a artist here in Zomba. Yeah, pretty local artist, um, but his work is amazing, honestly. There's so many talented people out here in Zomba and Af in Africa and itself that, you know, we just have to highlight where we see talent, talented work. Yeah, absolutely. So take you through a little bit of the journey. Um, these are Marlon's little people. Yeah, these are my next door, my next door neighbor is little, yeah. little Richie. <laughs> Rich and his brother and sister. Um, they honestly, I love spending time with them. They're, they're honestly some of my, you know, favorite kids. I am a teacher at this school um, next door, but this is a separate school. Um, and honestly, they just they, they adore him. They're they they're just um, you know genuine young souls you know like looking to explore and always what i always wonder what i have in my bag and what i'm about to say they always try to teach me chichewa so here they're trying to teach me a little bit of the local language in malawi which is chichewa it comes from the chewa people um who inhabit malawi and uh yeah so you know they're they're, they're where i bounce my lessons back and forth from and they always try to teach me the words and they will fill me with joy, so I just try to return the, you know, return the favor. Um, so yeah, those are my little youths. So yeah, after leaving the little kids, uh, we decided just to walk the town. This is a little, some shots of the school next door. That's how I'm going to practice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get good, cause you know I got my peeps out here. I got my peeps too. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the Zomba Baptist Private School, which we actually live opposite to. So we live right across that side. <laughs> Welcome to Zomba on a Saturday, guys. It's Saturday, Saturday Rising Boys. Yeah, so we headed out into the town and not long after we met with um, Soko, the artist. Um, there was actually a piece that I wanted from him the last time we saw him. So this is like my second piece from him. So I was really um, excited actually to see him that day. How are Bless. you? Okay? Yes, yes. And they have nice ideas. This is your guy. Okay. How are you, sis? Bless, I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is just a little bit of a stroll to Zomba on Saturday. What do you name Okay, so here we headed to the market um, quickly and we're just picking up a few fruits, vegetables and all of that good stuff. Mm, yeah, from some local people, you know. Yeah, so this is Zomba Town. It's usually pretty busy, I'd say, on a Saturday. Um, it's, what, like a fairly big town? Um, it's a small town. <laughs> small town Zamba. I mean, you know, for the amount of people there in the space, um, you know, I think that people like to gather around one area where, you know, there's resources like such as food or a lake or um Zamba's beautiful though. There's plenty of mountains to look at. Yeah, it's a really mountainous region. 
Yeah, yeah, so super mountainous region. And it keeps it kind of cool as well because it's Malawi can get very, very hot. Yes. So like, I feel like the closer you are to the city, the hotter it is. The closer you are to the mountains, the cooler it is. Yeah, and it's also a developing place as well. You know, there's a supermarket that just kind of opened up. Yeah, that's the one we're going past right now. That would be, I would say like, I feel like it's a little bit of a luxury. A luxury supermarket. Yeah, it's yeah. like, look, you want to support the locals as best as possible because not supporting the locals, um, you know, you find yourself, you just fall into that tourist. Yeah. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, the, the, the shop is full of Malawians on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis. Like, yeah. there's more Malawians using the store than there is actually none Malawian. Um, but yeah, it's basically a luxury store for like things that you don't generally get yeah. in supermarkets. Almond milk. Yeah, those kind mm, of like vegan that. treat stuff. Yeah. Um, here we're coming up to um, where we actually meet with um, Soko. Yeah. So a little bit about this artist and his work. Well, I know for a fact that he's blind in one eye. Um, I'm not sure there is. I'm not sure what happened um, to him or if he was born that way. Um, but he he is blind in one eye. Um, but his artwork, you would never know because it's just so detailed and so beautifully executed. Um, yeah, I, I just really respect his work. So he's gonna basically take us through some of his artwork. So please sit back, relax and take it in. Villages, trees, um, just really nice stuff that you can put up in your home. Um, and as I said, I've got two of his um, pieces already. Um, I've got an elephant, which is my favorite animal, and I also have um, one of the pieces that's displayed in this video as well. Um, so yeah, just as a way to promote his work in Malawi, um, being an artist isn't very respected actually, generally, and. Um, you know, even when I speak to my students, becoming an artist isn't something that your parents would encourage or advise. So him doing this is actually defying some of the like uh, the ways of life here, essentially. And um, because of that, he doesn't make a lot of money from his artwork. And um, you know, so we try and support him, and you know, other local people try and support him as well. So in our bid to support his artwork um, and to help him to flourish, um, we are basically putting in a bid for you guys who are watching this video, um, whether you're in the UK or the USA. So this is the piece that we bought actually, um, I think it's just such a beautiful piece, I love the colours, I love how vivid it is, don't watch my finger in the video guys, um, I, just, I just couldn't see because the sun was so bright, um, but don't let that distract you from the artwork. So if you would like to purchase some of his art, please, please reach out to us, and leave a comment below, send us a message, 
reach out to us on Instagram and um, we'd be happy um, you know, to get these out to you. Um, it's a limited time frame that we have. We have till um, the 8th of December.